Hi, my name is Evan Morikawa, and along with my teammate Steven Zhang, we made a logical AND gate out of connects. You can see here we have sort of the, the shape of an AND gate here. We have two input wires, input A and input B, and an output wire C, and an output wire C at the bottom, which represents the AND of both A and B. The way our system works is that we have each of these input wires sort of holds state. You can see right now they're both set to zero as marked by the red zero flags. Um, and if we send a ball through, which are these, which represent a change in signal, uh, or in a more technical term, the differential of the input signal, it will change the state of each of the wires to the corresponding one, marked by the green one flags. The end, it will always show the correct state. And as you can see, it currently does so now, because zero and zero are zero. So now we'll demonstrate this state changing. To do this, I'm going to ask my partner Steven to come in here. So the first thing we'll do here is we will change wire input B from 0 to 1. And you'll see the wire change. You'll see the ball go to the machine. And you'll see that the machine keeps its same, the correct state because 0 and 1 is 0. Now Steven will demonstrate how we can actually change the output state. So if we put the ball down the A uh, wire, See the wire A changes to 1, and we get 1, and 1 is 1. And then we'll change the state back now. So as I drop another ball down here, we see once again 1 and 0 is 0. And finally, to reset it back to our original position, As you can see, the AND gate still remains its correct state of 0 and 0 is 0. So this is just one very large AND gate, much larger than what you've seen on a microchip. However, with this fundamental AND gate and some of the other corresponding gates that you can make out of a similar model, you could theoretically put these together to make any sophisticated machine or computer that you see in a modern microprocessor. So this is our logical AND gate made out of connects. Thank you very much.